How does this cheap $9 set of VDE 1000 volt screwdrivers stack up against this $80 set of screwdrivers from a more well-established brand? Pretty bloody well. G'day everyone, my name is Corey. I'm a licensed electrician from Melbourne, making videos about my best practices on the tools and how I enjoy what I do while being productive. Everyone in the electrical trade needs a good set of insulated screwdrivers. I would never work with uninsulated screwdrivers, even when I don't work on live circuits ever. I always work on circuits that I've confirmed and tested are dead. I guess the question is why bother with insulated screwdrivers then if I'm always working on things that are not live. Well, having I thought it wasn't live on your tombstone isn't a really good excuse. At the end of the day, having insulated screwdrivers is just another piece of PPE. And I hope the tips of these screwdrivers never become conductive. If the terminals you're working on, for whatever reason, are live, you know you're not gonna bloody die or get an electric shock. Also, within the industry, I do understand there are certain specialized electricians that have to work on live circuits. That is not who I am. I've been in the industry for five years and I've never had to be in a situation where I've been forced to work on a live circuit. All right, let's talk about the different screwdriver brands that manufacture these 1000 volt insulated screwdrivers. On one side of the scale, you've got your cheap ass brands, which you can get from stores like Bunnings in Australia. And then on the other side of the scale, you've got the more premium well-known brands such as Weha, which is what I've got here. Klein, Milwaukee. Even though Milwaukee aren't known for specifically manufacturing tools for electricians, they're still a well-known brand and they do manufacture those insulated screwdrivers. You can get these tools from Total Tools and Sydney Tools in Australia. I'm not sure where you can get them for my international viewers. I think they've got a store called Home Depot. That's that's the store you guys have, right? It's like your version of Bunnings. I'm pretty sure you can get expensive brands from there. What I've got with me at the moment are the Craftrite screwdrivers and the Weha screwdrivers. I actually did buy both from Bunnings. So I know I did say on the cheap ass scale is sort of tools from Bunnings, but you can also get premium tools from Bunnings as well. Fuck, I've got to stop talking about Bunnings. So yeah, let's actually start with the similarities. They're both VDE tested. I have explained what VDE means in an Electrician 101 video I did on insulated pliers, but pretty much to get that VDE certificate, what they do is they submerge these tools in water for 24 hours and then they apply 10,000 volts onto the tools. I think it's like three minutes, they apply straight 10,000 volts. And if the insulation passed that test, plus a few other tests, then the tools are certified and insulated up to 1,000 volts AC and 1,500 volts DC. And basically, too long didn't read version of that is if the tips of these screwdrivers touch a conductive conduct, a conductive conductor. Um, I guess that works. Um, maybe I'll just say conductor. Yeah, if the screws touch a live conductor and your hands are touching either on the handle or on the shack, like the insulated part, then you're not gonna get that electric shock. But remember what I said at the start, I never work on anything live ever. Again, it's a piece of PPE. That's why I have it. I'm pretty sure we all know what VDE means at this point, and I probably don't need to explain every single time I mention VDE. They've both had the exact same test done to it, and they've both passed, obviously, because they've got VDE stamped onto it, and they've also got 1000 volts stamped onto it. In terms of the materials that they're made out of, the Craftrite brand is made out of CRV steel, whereas the Weha brand is made out of CR. MO steel. You might be asking, what's the difference? From my research, they're almost identically the same. If someone watching this is more of an expert on like chemistry and engineering, coming away, from my understanding, they're pretty much the same strength and durability as one another. So yeah, that covers the similarities between the two. And those are the really important factors to take into consideration when choosing your screwdrivers. And if the really important factors are the same between the two, then why am I paying pretty much nine times the price from one that's a bit more of a premium brand and made in Germany? And the answer is you don't have to pay that much more money for a premium screwdriver. You can quite easily get away with the cheaper screwdriver and it does exactly the same thing. 
except for you're saving so much more money. I can already predict that there are going to be brand loyalists who comment away and say, oh, I only get Klein or I only get Weera, which is fine. Like if you're comfortable using that brand, yeah, by all means, keep using it. I'm just trying to give you some sort of information and insight, especially for apprentices or people who are looking to get into the trade and haven't bought their screwdrivers yet and are deciding on between, well, should I get these more expensive ones or these cheaper ones? Yeah, get whichever you want or feel like getting. Don't feel bad for going with the cheaper brand over the more expensive brand. But if you wanna get the more expensive brand, you don't have to feel bad for spending a little bit more money either. Go for whatever, as long as they're VDE, 1000 volts, made out of quality steel, and they come in a set that includes at least a PH2 Phillips head screwdriver and a flatty, you're pretty good to go. If you're worried about the tools lasting long, it really comes to how well you treat them. If you're gonna abuse the hell out of your tools, then they're gonna get destroyed quicker as opposed to if you take good care of them, keep them dry, take care of them while you're using them, then yeah, your tools are gonna last. Granted, this exact $9 set or craft right screwdrivers are from Bunnings, are from Australia. There are certain quality measures that come into play, especially when you're buying a tool in store, as opposed to buying a tool online from a website like AliExpress or eBay, you don't exactly know what you're getting at. Whereas Bunnings have to sell tools or products up to a certain standard, otherwise they're just not gonna sell it. And even if you look at the reviews of Craftrite on the Bunnings website, heaps of people are really impressed with this. It's kind of unbelievable how cheap these are. Yeah, they're made in China, but so what? To me, they feel like premium tools and I've definitely experienced them being good quality tools because I've used them as my main screwdrivers most of my time as an electrician. So then why did I buy these Weha screwdrivers? First of all, I wanted to test the differences between, like I've said, a well-known brand and a cheap ass brand and they feel pretty much exactly the same to me. The reason I got this specific set is that they're actually a slim fit whereas this is a standard fit. Let's do a quick electrician 101 on insulated screwdrivers. In this series, I cover a specific tool and go in depth with it. The insulated screwdriver is made up of the handle, the shank, and the tip or the head. So yeah, in terms of the tip of the screwdriver, for an electrician, most of the time, you're gonna need either a Phillips head or a flat blade or slotted blade or whatever you call it. We just call it a flatty here in Australia. Yeah, Phillips and a flatty. In terms of the different sizes you need as an electrician, a PH0, a PH1, and a PH2 will get you out of the most strife. They do come in small sizes like PH00 and PH000 and larger sizes like PH5 and upwards and so on. But yeah, the three sizes I mentioned before are the ones that come in most screwdriver sets and will cover most of your needs as a tradesperson. In terms of the flat blade, I never remember the exact dimensions. The different sizes are expressed in millimeters and yeah, you've just got your larger one, sort of your medium size one, and then your small one? Where did the small one go? One, two, three, four, five. I'm missing one. What the f oh. Oh. Don't fall off me chair. Small. Also on certain brands, you've got a tether hole at the bottom, which is for when you're working at heights and you've got like a lanyard on. You can have your screwdrivers hanging off you so that you don't drop it. I've personally never had any use for this and I've never seen another electrician or tradie have use for this hole at the bottom of the handle. But yeah, if you have use for it, comment down below and yeah, let me know. In terms of the slim fit, on the shank, as you can see, the width gets smaller as you go further towards the tip until it sort of blends the same size as the head. Same for the flatty and same for the Phillips. You're definitely gonna get a lot of uses out of that. Also, I've noticed on the more premium brands, you've got the actual size, so in this case, PH2, and then little sort of picture of what the head looks like, which the Craftrite doesn't have, and that is actually quite handy. If I have my um, screwdrivers in my tool pouch, I can see immediately the size and the type of screwdriver there. So I can pick the right one straight away for the job. Just little things like that that make you a bit more efficient on the tools. And yeah, as for the flatty, it tells you the exact millimeter size of the flat blade. Again, I don't really take too much notice of the specific millimeter size. I just kind of go for the flat blade that will fit the thing that I'm screwing into. You'll notice that the more premium brand doesn't actually have those tether holes in them. 
that I have no use for them. I think I've covered most things. I've been talking for way too long and yeah, I'm gonna just end the video here. Thank you for watching. If you have any video ideas, comment away. If you have any opinions on sort of insulated screwdrivers or how you use them or just anything, just comment away. Check out my other videos here. You can subscribe if you want more electrician videos and yeah, cheers, catch ya.